wig this, hanging down the den, doing a bit of screen printing. If it's not that, it's doing drum and doing bass. All your white sham for the Ewig clan. This is us doing a groove, run through the streets to chum. <laughs> Or someday and ask us how did we behave and I think I know it's true so I'll tell you what to do love your neighbor as yourself and I think I know it's true so I'll tell you what to do Harry there isn't much time yeah, all you need really for an arts festival really is a good bike and a good van yeah, it's a you good know, start. It's a good start. You pile yeah. up into the back of the van, really, and you can mm. do your poster runs. The bicycles yeah. handier, and you're saving on the the, uh, yeah. the um, carbon footprint as well. I mean, the main the main function of an arts festival is to move bingo chairs around the town for a week. <laughs> you nearly want a trailer for that, though, as well. Though. You nearly want. Well, you can do two runs. We're going to put the session in recession. <laughs> when they've nothing to do especially when it's raining like yeah. this summer most summers and they just come up to us and we don't do it like you have to be here at a certain time and just you have to in. leave now just walk in they just walk out something. they do stuff with us they leave yeah. and then some of them don't leave and they stay with us for ages ages like. yeah and we have a group, great group of kids now that we have steady and then we just get new kids every year like we have some kids with us for years like from doing pantos and St. Patrick's Day like last year at the opening show we had a bit of trouble with kids like throwing stuff at some of the um, other kids that were actually in the show. So this year we got the kids that were throwing rocks and put them in the show. Yeah. Kind of worked. It is, kind of. <laughs> we actually put one of them in the show who was throwing rocks. We dressed him as a rock. As a rock, yeah. Quite ironic, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for like integration, like um, yeah, the traveller kids and the settled kids and just everybody, like yeah. the buff kids, the scans, the shams. Shams, foreign nationals, people have just moved here to Ireland, everyone gets together, joins in. Has a big fight and then has some friends. Yeah. <laughs> Pablo Picasso said, uh, every child is an artist. The problem is remaining one when one grows up. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. You go to that? Yeah. What do we do with that? Go mad. The day I fell in love with the house coat in O'Toole's supervalued room, the haberdashery section. I couldn't believe my eyes, there between the mops and the buckets, the coal scuttles and the delf with the wee small cottages on them. Beside the sets of black cats, you know the ones, one cat standing, two cats sitting, all joined together by a chain around their necks. There it was, a small rail of house coats. My God, just like my grandmother wore. You could have knocked me over with a feather duster. The air was suffused with lavender. You know, the polish they used to use for polishing floors. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't take my eyes off it. I had to put it on. The cut of it. Small red flowers. The navy colour. Overwhelming. The feeling. Unbelievable. The store detective didn't seem to think so. What are you doing, he asked me. Are you some kind of transvestite or something? What are you at? No, I says. It's the house coat my grandmother used to wear. Try one on. It feels bloody marvellous. Are you serious, he says. Jeez, it is. My granny wore one of them too, and he tried one on. Then the manager arrived. What the hell is going on here, he says. And we convinced him to try one on too. And before we knew where we were, Weren't we singing? There were three lovely lassies from Banyan and dancing down the aisles. I put sunflower seeds in the ground, gonna watch them grow. I'm three years old, I'm nearly four. And I can get dressed all by myself if I lie on the floor. I'm three years old, but I'm nearly four. I got a Ben 10 watch and a Mystic Force phone I like to take a pee all on my own No matter what I get I'll be hungry for more I'm three years old But I'm nearly four And I can count to 26 before I start to get bored I'm three years old but I'm nearly four I like throwing stones and breaking sticks I'm an anise suit for sure I'm three years old But I'm nearly four Did you go to the kids' disco? I met it down to the kids' disco and I had a really good time but unfortunately my feet were so tired from running around all week that I didn't do much dancing I didn't see you there You didn't see me there, you were too busy dancing I wasn't dancing <laughs> you were too busy interviewing people then, that's it. Hello, this is Garnia Carroll reporting from Eric. Have you ever met an Eric? Have I ever met an Eric? No, I've never met an Eric. I am an Eric. Fully graduated Eric. I went to Eric Secondary School. Before that I went to Eric Primary School. Then I went to Eric College. Now I'm fully graduated Eric. Are you happy that we get in free for everything? <laughs> yeah. Baby. 
And I'd say what will come out of this as well, you, you'll have probably playwrights coming out and you'll have actors and you'll have writers and God knows. And filmmakers as well. And filmmakers <laughs> to boot. So because there might be a Cecil B. De Mill out there that we don't have to, get to discover her. Or what's your man's name to die there lately. Anyhow. Shan. Ah, story. Ray. World class. Sham, I don't ask you often. Just give us two, Nick, will you? Ah, yeah, but. Could have been, yeah. Great contender. Playing up front. For Dynamo Blues and I'm no gummy. Mind the story Heard about me Last night and Sling me two quid Just two notes And I'll be gone Truth Correct Truth Correct Correct as Jill says When he told me Bye. Oh, very nice.